on this ringlet uh, demonstration or tortoise shell, there's different names for it, um, we're going to do a base first before we use, we're going to use white and we're going to use blue, uh, blue-green uh, dioxide. This is the black dioxide. This is going to be the base and I'm doing this on this particular one because I want it a little more somber and so the blue will be a little deeper. If I didn't, then I wouldn't put the black on first. So we're going to put the black on first. Uh, we're going to use a crown sprayer because it gives you a very fine mist. The dioxides are very concentrated. The only one that you could do without putting a little bit of water in it, distilled water would be best, um, would be the yellow. Everything else is pretty concentrated to the point of wanting to thin it out a little bit. So uh, on the black, we're going to thin the black out just a little bit, just so it gives us a nice, flat, even base. Uh, now we're going to use the dioxides to make ringlets. And to start with, I'm going to use the dioxide white. Depending on how much water you put with the dioxide will depend on whether the ringlets uh, are going to be opaque or transparent. So in the beginning, I want sort of opaque ringlets. So I'm going to put about, it's half, it's half this container, but I'm only going to put just about maybe 25% water in it. So you've got 75% dioxide, 25% water. So this is going to make a very opaque ringlets or what they call tortoise shell. Uh, so as we go along we will continue to dilute the dioxide white so we get more ghost-like uh, ringlets. What you're looking for is the metal to be hot enough so that the chemical steams off doesn't run down. If it runs down, then you have a problem. Now it ran down there, so that means I'm not hot enough. You can do that with a brush with water. You can take some water, put it into a cup, take a chip brush, and put it on the surface. If it steams off and sizzles, kind of a psh, psh, then you're ready to go. Now, if it doesn't do anything, that means your metal's so hot it's not going to do anything. So then you can take a spray bottle with water and chill it out a little bit, or you can take an air hose with a nozzle on it. And now the shape of the brush will determine a lot what the pattern is going to look like. You want to kind of push down on it. So as it's coming off the brush, it's making these patterns. You can also do a really nice look with a sponge. A sponge gives you really nice possibilities. So I've thinned it out 50% with water. So that will make it more like a ringlet with, you won't see so much in the whole shape of it, you'll just see it on the edges. And I usually do this with every pigment or oxide. I thin it out about 50, 75 percent sometimes. You can see the pattern that's going over it is much more transparent. getting these kind of more like a ghost image. I'm 
put blue over the top of this. Again, the same thing, a dilution. Notice the, the second layer that went on is much more transparent than the first. I did that so I would get some background to it. Now we're going to do a blue-green over the top. Again, I've diluted this 50%. put a white over the top of this, a real ghost white over the top of the blue. This should give us a real nice ghost image. other way now just a little bit here. You really get to see this when you put the lacquer over the top for a protective coat. That's when you start seeing all the real nice transparencies. Uh, now that we've uh, put on the tortoise shell, we have to let it cool down uh, so that we can put a protective coating. And when we do put the protective coat on, you're going to see the color really intensify. It goes up to about double what it is when you see it without the lacquer. So once you spray on the lacquer, that's the clear guard, uh, you're going to see the intensity. Also, you're going to see more details of the ringlets. The more lacquer you put on, the more you see the... Uh, the details of the ringlets uh, because it's kind of matte when you do it and then when you hit it with lacquer then you start seeing all of the little ringlets.